Snowden, directed by Oliver Stone and starring Joseph Gordon-Levitt, is the true story about an NSA employee named Edward Snowden who leaked information about the NSA spying on American citizens and citizens of other countries. So I came into Snowden not really expecting it to be that good. Uh, I saw the trailer and it was filled with kind of cheesy moments and heavy-handed dialogue and the movie pretty much met my expectations with that. There were a lot of just cheesy, weird moments. I mean, just right off the bat, there's a scene right in the beginning where he comes to Nick Cage. Uh, I, I, I don't know, they, they don't make it clear exactly who he is. He's just kind of some guy at the NSA. And he's working on all these like machines and Snowden comes in like, oh, you know, I've always been interested in encryption and enigmas. And it, it just, it feels so forced and kind of just, they're just trying to force exposition out and kind of show who Stoughton was and it just seems so half-baked. The whole movie felt like it was kind of made for the sake of making a Stoughton movie. It didn't feel like there was a lot of creative effort being pushed into it. It seemed really not well thought out. There was a lot of just weird things and just kind of random choices that didn't seem to make any sense. Um, the movie, for example, just kind of cuts back and forth. It shows Snowden first entering the CIA, shows him like building up and becoming more like involved in everything, and then cuts to the future and cuts to him. Fuck! It just suddenly cuts to the future with him in 2013, leaking everything and meeting with the press, and just kind of goes back and forth. And that's what I said with Sully last week is, I hate when movies cut back and forth. And with Sully, it worked. This is a good example of when it doesn't work. It breaks up the storytelling. It kind of takes the best part, which is him actually going and leaking everything, and just cuts it into sections. And it messes up the flow of everything, which was a problem through most of the movie. It had kind of an awkward flow. It would cut from one thing to another where you would kind of get something going and then it would cut to just kind of a duller scene. I felt a lot of the movie just, it, it didn't seem to be thought out completely where they wanted to uh, really tell the story. They were just kind of like, let's get this story out there. Let, you know, we want to make a Snowden movie for the purpose of making a Snowden movie. And there wasn't really a lot of uh, thinking of how do we structure this properly? How do we do it well? They just kind of wanted to tell the story and just kind of didn't... It, it just really felt like they weren't thinking it out completely. And just the whole movie feels weird. It doesn't feel right. There are so many just awkward scenes and just weird dialogue. Like, for example, most of the movie, or not most of it, but a large amount of the movie focuses on him and his girlfriend, which was his kind of motivation to originally leak the files. Uh, and it all feels like it's straight out of a Nicholas Sparks novel. There's just cringy dialogue and weird moments where he's like, they're like all romantic and you hear happy music playing and all this bright, happy little montage. It's just weird. It It feels so cheesy and it just doesn't work. Um, however, I do believe there are some redeeming aspects. It shows the story in an interesting way. It kind of, sh it does show what happened, which I've always been curious about, which for me at least made the movie worth watching. Some of my friends who have been less interested in the story though said they were bored through the whole thing, which I don't blame them. There was a, a lot of just kind of, if you're not really interested in the whole, uh, like, technical aspect of things, it can get boring. Like, that makes sense to me. So overall, I'd have to give Snowden about a 3 out of 10. It was clunky, wasn't well thought out, a lot of scenes didn't work, felt weird, but it told the story at least, and for me, it was at least worth watching to see that. Uh, that's kind of where the 3 comes from, I guess. It at least had that redeeming aspect, where it told the story. That's all for this review. Thank you for watching. Next week we're going to try to do Magnificent Seven. I haven't been able to book any screenings for it, but we'll see if we can somehow get it. Uh, so thanks for watching. See you guys next time.